Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'd like to talk to y'all about expectations regarding interventions with the treatment of obesity. Expectations can really make or break any treatment. As I continue to counsel patients on the treatment of obesity, I like to give them some realistic expectations about what each intervention can and cannot do as they continue to pursue weight loss. As you can see from this chart, there are several things that can be done for the treatment of obesity, and some of them are definitely more effective than others. I always start with lifestyle intervention counseling, and I always refer patients to our in-house nutritionist who's excellent. And expectations with that can range anywhere from two to 10% of body weight loss. As we move on down the list, you can see Contrave, which has bupropion and naltrexone, or just plain bupropion. And I think once again, you can expect about a five to 10% weight loss. Then let's move on to Qsimia, which has fentramine and topiramate, or you can use either topiramate or fentramine alone. And once again, that helps with about a five to 10% weight loss. Then we move on to the newer medications, the GLP-1 medications like semaglutide, also known as Wigovi, specifically for weight loss. With this medication, there have been multiple trials that have shown repeatedly that patients tend to lose about 10% of their total body weight. Then we move on to the newer Zetbound, which is the GLP-1 and GIP medication, also known as terzepatide, and that's shown to give about a 20% total body weight loss. And then finally, we have weight loss or bariatric surgery which gives about a 30% total body weight loss. Now, when a patient comes to me, for example, a 300 pound woman, and she says, I wanna lose 150 pounds, then automatically I need to have an honest conversation with her about the realities of what I can offer her. And I think for her, a realistic option would be bariatric surgery. And one of the most interesting things I think we need to learn more about is having a patient get bariatric surgery, but then using these newer med injectable medications to help them not regain some of the weight that they've lost. You know, I just recently had a patient that I saw that had a gastric sleeve done in 2017 and lost 40 pounds. Well, over the last couple of years, she hasn't been on any anti-obesity medications and she's gained about 20 pounds back. She was really like, opposed to anti-obesity medications and one of the things that I really am gonna to continue to talk with her about is just the fact that I think using an anti-obesity medication in that case would be really helpful. Of course, I also referred her to our dietitian and talked with her about some other lifestyle interventions. But at the end of the day, I think we all need to have realistic expectations about what some of these interventions can and cannot do. I think we're gonna to continue to see more and more anti-obesity medications developed that have greater and greater efficacy that continue to get closer and closer to the results that we see with surgery. We're not quite there yet, but we're certainly approaching. And I also wanna say for this chart, this is a, an extreme generality. You know, there are some patients that are super responders to medications and interventions, and then there are some that are under responders. And so this is just a, a very big generalization and just a way to get the conversation going. Thanks for joining me.